Golden Tower information, Foxtrot 2247 Zulu, wind 210 at 8, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 23, 2.12, altimeter 3020, VR Alpha approaching use, arriving at departing runway 24. Use caution personnel and equipment working north of taxiway Bravo, Vice Central Contact, you have information, Foxtrot. What's the uh, outside temperature? Uh, right now? Number two, follow a uh, Excellent. What's the density altitude? Follow a pipe on a three mile. I can't hear you. Why can't I hear you? Hear you? How about now? Excellent. Much better. Perfect. Two eight affirmative. Follow the piper on a three mile final runway two four quarter line. Good stuff. Okay, we'll plug everything in. Um, Cool. It's a tomahawk pipe, a tomahawk that you're following. You see this glide slope thing? How do you get rid of all that, that instrument approach? Like that? Excellent, good. Solid. Fullerton Ground, uh, good afternoon, Sierra 747, Sierra Delta, with Foxtrot at North Angers, uh, taxi active. So we're 747 Sierra Delta, full and ground, 24, taxi via Bravo. 24 via Bravo, Sierra 7 Sierra Delta. Excellent. Nice and hot out. Seven, eight, Lima. New Let's go ahead and, zero, I'm two, saying it's seven, nice zero. and hot out. Let's go ahead and lean the mixture. Four. Zero, two, oh, yeah. Seven, zero, seven, eight, Lima. Oh, yeah. Like how much? Yeah, I, ideally, I want you to go to roughness and then bring it just above that. So go to roughness and then bring it up just to get rid of the roughness. Uh, you really, these, this, this plane is configured with the mixture even close to full. Oh. The only time you need full is to start it on a cold, a cold engine. Otherwise, it's way, it floods that thing. Okay. Way too rich. Okay, one nine Victor, upon departure left one two zero. So call departure one two five three five. Spark zero two five zero. Excellent. Clear right. Two five three five and zero. Where's the wind coming from? Two one zero. So forget numbers. Tell me relative to the airplane. Point with your hand. It's gonna be uh. Squawk 0250. Uh, 0250, yeah. zero, heading That's for 20. The flight control position we're looking for. Excellent. So the two, three, base it's a right quarter in tail. Over the numbers. Yep. Excellent. Solid. Good. Eventually that'll become a habit. You start taxiing, you look at the windsock, and you put in the correction. You won't even think about it. AC 50 full and tower makes straight in runway 24. You're following Cessna on a two mile left base. Bonanza 1-5 Victor, full and tower, you going to be ready? Uh, we're ready, 1-9 Victor. 1-9 Victor, change the tower frequency. Tomahawk 188, if able, turn left at Echo, taxi to parking via Alpha, good day. And then 6-2, Victor, traffic 2 mile final, wind 2 one from a 2-4, quick takeoff. JSP 50, number two following assessment now, two and a half mile final runway, two four quarter land, one two one zero seven. Okay, no flight plan, all right? <clears throat> you tell me. Usually you say no. Uh huh? Usually you say no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Um, flight, plan, flight plan defeats our purpose correct. of nav logging and dead reckoning and pilotage and headings. And then Do you understand that? Victor, we'll start that last Makes sense? One, of course. Two, cool. One, two, five, three, five, good day. Don't worry about that now, you'll have plenty of time to figure that out.
I might even pick a different Charlie, just for the sake of throwing it at you without expecting it. Because the, the idea is, Jimmy, 90% of the things we do in flight training... Here's, here's something, I don't know if anyone, prob probably no one ever told you this. And I want to say it, and I think it'll make a light bulb go off in your head. 90% of what we do, not we, anyone, during flight training, I want you to fully be with me. Are you yeah, with I'm me? With you. I'm with you. 90% of what flight training is made up of stalls, steep turns, uh, all these different things we do in flight training yeah. are things that you might have to do and you might encounter them in the real world unexpectedly. Right. You'll never, as a pilot, unless you go on a train, do 30 stalls in a flight. Unless you're going out there to train for it, right? But the plane won't, hopefully won't stall 30 times in a flight, right? 90% uh, of flight training are things you'll encounter unexpectedly, which is why we have to train them in such a way where they'll come at you unexpectedly. Otherwise, I'm not sending you out for success when I throw you out in the real world as a pilot, and now all you know is to enter into Charlie's having had 20 minutes on the ground to write down frequencies. Yeah, Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So a big part of this is throwing it at you unexpectedly and you handling it the right way in the air. Easy? Yep. Excellent. Okay, doors closed. Pin is... Where is my pin? It's not in there, but it's out. Where is it? It's right there. Okay, cool. Air conditioning as desired, fuel quantity confirmed. Uh, boost pump is on, run the fuel's tank, mixture is as required. Flaps going to 50. Mine work. Mine are good. Now the, the strict autopilot, go to heading. Seems to work, and I can, I can fight it. Set my trim back. Trim is set. Okay, so since we're talking about <clears throat> a hot day and mixture, so when you run up to the engine, what do you usually do? So uh, it, as you get to know an airplane more, you become one with the airplane. Here's the thing about leaning a mixture. If you always lean your mixture to roughness at all phases of flight, you get a really good idea of where approximately what position for that phase of flight results in best power. Right. Does that make sense? But if you don't ever lean it to roughness, you're clueless as to what a given position means for a given thing, right? Right. Secondly, best power for full power is different is, is a different mixture position for best power for seventeen hundred RPM. Does that make sense? So that's kind of where you'll play with it. So what I want you to do is go ahead and increase the mixture to about three quarters. So take it a quarter. That's good. Go to 1700, 1700 RPM. Now we're kind of learning the airplane. Okay. Make sense what I'm saying? Absolutely. Cool. It's only through always leaning the mixture in a naturally aspirated airplane that you become intimately familiar with it. Otherwise, you're shooting in the dark. That's good. Now what I want you to do is don't touch the throttle, only touch the mixture, start leaning it back, uh, bringing it back slowly. And watch the RPM. That's weird. It went down, then went, went up. Good. So bring it back more. As you lean it, you're getting more power, right? Okay. Because it was overly rich. And eventually it will start coming back down. So it looks like our peak RPM was 1720. Go a little forward back to 1720. That's where I want you doing your run-ups. Does that make sense? Okay. You see how you find it? That's fine. Okay. Pretty, you're in the vicinity. Oh, now look at the position. Hold on, let me do it. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? You want that peak RPM. 
Southcock, 197 Sierra, pulling ground upon departure left 120, Southcock departure 1535. Huh, no, it's not doing You might be two lane, you want to go yeah. forward. Yeah. There you go. Now it's coming back up, right? So you want to find that peak RPM. Okay, so. Right, now look at that. Right. So as you do this, if you do it here, if you do it when you reach cruise, if you do it for takeoff, you'll become familiar with where my mixture needs to be. Easy? Solid. Wow, it's a big drop. Yeah. Looks good. What's the max drop you'll accept? Uh, <clears throat> 150 uh, max drop and 75 between the two. Excellent. Good. See if it idles. Idling, we'll bring it back up to 1,000. Perfect. Good, now lean the mixture. Good, excellent. Now winter time? Winter time you'll lean it a little, a little less because it's colder, the air is denser, we have more air, we therefore need more. We therefore need more. <coughs> we need more fuel. Excellent, right, because we're looking to maintain what constant? Uh, what do you mean? What are we looking to maintain constant at all times? A fuel to air ratio. Excellent. It's not a fuel amount, it's a ratio. As the air amount changes, I have to change my fuel to maintain that ratio. It's no different than when you climb in the atmosphere, I change the fuel because the air is thinner. Easy? Yep. Cool. Okay, checklist is complete. Excellent. Okay, zero nine two fifty five hundred. Okay, uh, briefing. We're doing an ad vlog to ACRQ Palomar. Um, everything here, our courses, everything. We're going to do a right down with departure, 092, follow, start following the course. Um, anything uh, below rotation speed, 73 knots, we're going to pull all the power. Use our brakes, use the runway, we're going to stop the plane. Anything above rotation speed, we're going to continue with rotation, use what energy we have, look for a place in front of us to land. Each boulevard is usually the option here. Anything up, uh, you know, pattern altitude? Well, we got we got a little bit of time, and we're gonna circle back and uh, and uh, try to land. Any uh, questions? Nope, sounds good. Okay, have a counter up. Got this. Got that. Yeah. All right. Yep. By the way, what does the checklist tell you to do with your mixture for run-up? Take as, a wild as guess. Required. Exa as required. As required, yeah. Right. Why does it not say full? Yeah, because it doesn't know what altitude you're at. And it could be a hot day, it could be a cold day, it could be... Does that make sense? Sure. As required. Excellent. Fourth and Tower Series 747, Sierra Delta, holding short runway 24, looking for a right downwind departure. Sierra 747, Sierra Delta, full and tower, right down to free wind 2007, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 24, Sierra 7, Sierra Delta. Okay, so we're going to bring the mixture back, obviously, Perfect. right? Perfect, yeah. Really, you could do it before you take the, apply the power, you could do it now, whatever you want. Okay. And I want to see you do the flow. Yep. I want to see you do the flow. Yeah, I've got my hands on everything because of you now. Okay, good, say it out loud, say final, the stuff final, out loud. Final is clear. Cool, Perfect. Laps are in, I'll hit that. Yeah, there excellent, so solid, good. Remember, if you don't say it, I don't know you're doing it. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. Okay.
What did we say we'll hit before we apply power? Dragon 7, phone ground, runway 24 route. Good. Okay, power's coming in. Dragon 7, phone ground, the green, airspeed is alive. Looking for 73. See returning right? Yep. Are you aware of it when you do it? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Are you aware that you're turning right when you do it, or is it just when I bring it up? <clears throat> no, I've seen it. I was trying to correct for it. Okay. Cool. Okay, flaps coming out. Making our right turn. Caps is available. Clear right. Excellente. Stock 6 on Sierra, runway 24, taxi Alpha. Beautiful day. Oh. Wow. Wind two zero zero six. Keep turning, keep turning. Excellent. Good. All right, talk to me, Jimmy. What's going on? Okay, what are we looking, looking for? We're looking for top of climb first. So we're looking for 5500. Looking to Hyderabad, 1967 Sierra, holding short runway. We're looking for what? 5500. Okay, keep talking. What else are we looking for? What are we expecting to see there? Walk me through the whole thing. Uh, 5500. We're looking to see how much fuel we burnt and uh, our distance. Cool. So. We have our fuel burn right there, and... Are we looking at distance, or are we looking at fuel and... So I'm sorry, fuel and time. Okay. So we're looking at our fuel, and then we're looking at our time. So well, it should be at five minutes and... And right rudder, down. Jimmy. We need a lot of right rudder. Remember, one of the two things the autopilot has no access to. Well, how much right rudder? Like, you have to hold that the whole time? You see that? Yeah. Hold it in there, constant. So that is right under the triangle. That's a pain in the butt. It's a big pain in the butt, which is why the new Cirruses have what's called a yaw damper. Right? Well, At least you have an autopilot. <laughs> right. Pain in the butt doesn't alleviate us from maintaining coordination at all times. Yep. Good. Solid. Good. And you said what time and fuel are we expecting to see at top of climb? Five minutes, three and a half gallons. Cool. Scott 6 7 Sierra, wind 197. Are we still in uh, Fullerton's airspace? No. Cool. cool. So let's throw that in there. Bravo. Bravo. Okay. Taxi General, off. Look at that. Or just lower it. Excellent. Where's the wind coming from? Where's the wind coming from? From the north. Right or left of us? Left of us. Excellent. So the wind is drifting us to the right or to the left? It's drifting us to the right. Excellent. So if we didn't plan for it or if it wasn't a forecast wind, we could expect being drifted off to the right. We could expect our next checkpoint to be further mm -hmm. off our left or further off our right. Say that again. Because the wind is drifting us to the right, if it wasn't part of our planning, could we expect our next checkpoint to be further off to our left yes, out the window further or further to off to our right? Further off to our left. Excellent. Do you see my thought process, how I'm thinking about this? Yeah. I'm looking at the wind, I'm thinking of what it's doing to me, and then it tells me where I should look out the window. In our case, I should look more to the left 
because I have a 12 knot straight crosswind right. drifting me to the right. Once I have my eyes on it, guess what we do? Wind yeah. doesn't matter, I move the plane to the left, track straight towards it via pilotage. Easy? Yep. Excellent. But we're getting close to... All right, there's top of climb. Talk to me, Bubba. Top, three gallons. And we'll call it 515. Cool. And we're going to go way to the left. Cool. Are you able to see Corona? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Excellent. You see how the wind drifted us way off to way the right? Off. Good. What else do we do? Um, well, I'm pointing towards Corona right now. What else do we do at cruise? Oh, we're going to lean our mixture and our pull our power. We're going to do our cruise checklist. Right? Yep. Cool. You see why pilot is just powerful? Yep. Winds don't matter to me. I move my body towards that point. Excellent. Look at that 15 knot straight crosswind. Now we said the checkpoint will be will be a beam, beam. Corona, so I would say aiming for that freeway yep. is perfect. Excellent. Good. Good. All right. Now that we took care of the airplane and everything, talk to me. Keep teaching me. You see, I'm prompting you to talk out loud. <coughs> so, well, yeah, I'm just, uh, so I know you're not used to it. No, it's just I. But you've already said what we're doing. No, no, no. Teach me what we're looking for at our next checkpoint. Walk me through what numbers the, we're looking the, for the, on our screen. The same thing. We're same thing that we've been doing. We're looking for our fuel used. Which so, is will be what? Well, we've anticipated four and a half, and we're looking to be at uh, eight, eight, eight and a half minutes. Cool. So good. Huh. That's all I'm looking yeah, for. That's it. Good. If you don't say it, I don't know you're thinking about it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Next checkpoint. Once we make our turn, guess what you'll tell me on our way. On our next one, we're looking for. Blah, 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 blah. Easy? Yep. Cool. What ground speed did you calculate on this leg? 170 something. Cool. And we're showing? 147, but, yep. you know, at 64% power, we're not making. What power percentage did you plan for? 64. Oh, okay. Yeah. So why are we not making? Well, I mean, we got a quartering headwind. Below. Right, so you're saying the winds are causing our ground speed to be different than planned. Yep. Excellent, right? And that's why we're doing all this. Right. Because planning and real life often are very different. Will Ontario's Charlie be a factor for us if we end up flying into it there? No. Good, why not? Because we're above it. Excellent. What altitude does it go up to? 5,000. Good. I told you on the ground, Jimmy, getting you to talk will feel uncomfortable to you. I anticipated it. But once I get you to do that, it will become natural. I got the traffic offer right down there in sight. No okay. factor. See him? Yep. Uh, right there. Cruising. No factor. Yep, They're way him. below us. Yep. Got him. Got him.
could call this good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Call it good, because by the time we start turning, we'll be a beam Corona. You could call it good. 10, 4.2. Cool. Are we currently a header behind our We're plan? behind. Behind on both? Yep. Okay. Our next checkpoint, here's a good example. Don't even worry about your calculated heading. Could we see our next checkpoint yes. out the window? Yeah. Just go there. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. We don't even care to check our heading. I see where I want to go to. So we went from pilotage to pilotage. Excellent. And that's the best kind of situation you could ask for. No dead reckoning. All right. Pilotage to pilotage. Beautiful. And you plan the center of the lake, no, or no? I plan to its plan left. A little bit to the okay, cool. Sounds good. Now, are you able to see the checkpoint after Lake Elsinore, or not yet? No. Excellent. So right now we're piloted to Lake Elsinore. Maybe at Lake Elsinore we'll be able to be piloted to our next checkpoint. Maybe yes, maybe not. All right. If we can't see it from there, we do have our calculated heading to revert back to. Now, what about our top of descent? What about it? Okay, so we're just... Let's see. If you're we have 21 minutes if we're behind. We have what? So if we're behind the airplane, uh -huh. we, start, we start descent at 21 minutes. So no matter what, we're starting at 21 minutes? No. Right, no matter we're what, we're starting at the minutes following that checkpoint prior to your top of descent. So we should reach the checkpoint prior to your top of descent how many minutes prior to arriving at our destination? Well, we're behind right now. That doesn't matter. Okay. What, what's the checkpoint prior to the top of descent? Prior to the top of descent is uh, F, uh, F70. F70. When should we reach F70? At 21 minutes. Cool. When should we reach... Um, top of descent. Top of descent. 27 minutes. Cool. What's the difference between French Valley and F70? And again, I'm not asking French when we'll reach. Huh? What's the difference between French Valley and F70? I'm sorry. They're the same thing. What's the difference between French Valley? Uh huh. Again, top of descent. We should reach at what minute? At 21 minutes. 21. And French Valley, we should reach at. I'm sorry. Uh, well, French Valley is first and then top of descent. Good. So French Valley we should, we, we should be at 21 minutes. And top of descent? 27 minutes. So you're saying six minutes between French Valley and... Yeah. Cool. So that's the answer. But we begin our descent after. six minutes after French Valley, regardless of what this says. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Answers your question? Yeah. Okay. I'll prompt you again. This will be uncomfortable, but it's, I'm just doing it because I don't see you taking initiative and saying it to me. What numbers are we looking to see here and there when we are a Beam Lake Elsinore? Uh, six, six gallons and uh, 1430. Cool. Solid. So right now, does it look like we'll be ahead or behind? Oh, we'll be behind. Cool. And 4.9. We might be smack on the fuel, right? Maybe right. a gallon between here and there. Solid. Good. It's only by talking like that that you let the DPE know, hey, I'm thinking about what I'm doing. As opposed to, hey, I'm looking at that mountain and I'm completely lost as to what's going on. Does that make sense? I know what you're doing because I'm a, the instructor, but if I'm a DPE and I'm doing an analog with you and I've never flown with you, I don't know how engaged you are with the operation unless you say out loud, hey, I'm expecting to see 14 when we're beam that thing and I'm expecting six gallons. So far, it looks like I might be behind here and maybe smack on the fuel there. Now, I'm not looking to make you uncomfortable. I'm, it's, it's, it's a helpful thing for you. Easy? Yeah. Solid. 